We're interested in measuring how often kids repeat grades in school, which is a fairly basic indicator of educational success. Grade retention, or having to repeat a grade, which is when a, 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 a child in, in elementary or secondary school has to uh, redo a grade that they've just completed. Um, but most often first grade or ninth grade, but grade retention actually happens across the span of grades. So most education indicators, there's a place to look for it. If you wanna know what the high school dropout rate is, if you wanna know what percentage of girls go into STEM, if you wanna know how many kids are expelled every year, there's a place you can look. There's a developed literature on the consequences of grade retention for things like achievement and high school dropout, but we don't know how often it occurs. Right now, outside of our paper, there's really nowhere to look to quantify the, the grade retention rate and how it differs across states, across social groups, over time. Each state is developing longitudinal tracking systems to follow kids to understand what their own state's kids' retention rates are. Some states make those public. They're not necessarily comparable across states. They're not comparable over time. So right now, there's really nowhere to look to understand what is going on with grade retention rates in a reliable and consistent way. So we developed a measure based on current population survey data, which uh, samples large numbers of elementary school kids every October. It's a very basic indicator. It, it expresses the percent of kids in each grade uh, who have to repeat that grade. Um, we construct a measure from 1995 through 2010. We have uh, information about students' race and gender and state of residence, and so we're able to cross-tabulate retention rates by all of those things. A couple of things surprised me about the findings. Um, first is that there's been an across-the-board decline in retention rates since about 2005. Grade retention rates have dropped by about a third, um, which is a fairly substantial decline, not something that's caught uh, anybody's attention because nobody's been able to quantify the rates. Next step is to try to understand why retention rates have declined across social groups, across states. The other thing that surprised us was that rates really aren't that different for boys and girls. I, I think a lot of people have had the idea that grade retention rates are higher for boys. They're a little bit higher, but they're not, they're not that much higher as compared to um, racial group differences or differences by children's uh, economic position. How many kids have to repeat a grade um, matters for a couple of reasons. One is that it's expensive. Um, something like 6% of first graders have to repeat the first grade, which means that you have 6% more first graders than you might otherwise have. It's also important because accountability policies are often tied to retention policies. If we don't know how many kids are being made to repeat grades, we can't evaluate the, the positive or negative impacts of a variety of different social policies or educational policies. We think that being able to quantify the retention rate is step one. So step two is um, trying to understand whether they ought to be higher, they ought to be lower, they ought to be more equal across groups, they ought to be more equal across states. We don't have anything to say about that, but step one of answering any of those questions is understanding exactly what the rates are.